In this video, we're going to be using the um, Kattiga CS121 uh, to do scientific notation. So let's say we were doing uh, 5.0 uh, times 10 to the 6 um, times 8.32 times 10 to the minus 4, right? So what we can do here um, we'll just do it without scientific notation mode first, uh, 5.0, and then the uh, times 10 is right here, which is an E, and then 6 times uh, 8.32, and then times 10 to the minus, this, this negative, right, 4 equals, and what we get here is 4160 or 4160. But how do we put that in scientific mode? Um, like all the answers being in scientific mode. So you press mode <laughs> one, two, three times, and maybe one more time, let's see, four. You move the arrow over to sci or scientific, press equals, uh, press nine for the placement, and there you go. And it says right here, 4.16 times 10 to the 3, which is this right here. So the decimal place is right here. And I'm going to make this number smaller. 1, 2, 3, 4.160 times 10. If I'm making this smaller, I'm going to make this number bigger, the exponent. So I'm moving the decimals 1, 2, 3 places, and that gives me the 3 here. Okay, um, let's do division, something like 6.23 times 10 to the 8th divided by 1.25 times 10 to the minus 6, right? What is that equal to? Okay, 6.23 to the power, which is this one right here, x times 10 to the 8th, right, divided by and then we're going to go 1.25 and then times 10 to the take minus 6. Okay. And then we press equals and then we get 4.984 times 10 to the 14th. This one, this negative 6 will go up here and now I'll give you 12, 13, 14, right? This negative 6 will go up. And then you do the division. Um, one thing to note when you're doing a, um, a scientific notation is the significant digits. That's going to be with your teacher. Okay, so what about subtraction? 6.25 times 10 to the 4th. Take away 8.31 times 10 to the minus 8. Um, we'll find out very quickly that this is a very, very, very small number and doesn't take away anything from here. And it looks like it was, it's going to be the same answer. Let's see. 6.25 and then times 10 to the fourth. Take away, this take away, 8.31 to the power of negative 8. And you can see it's 6.25 times 10 to the fourth, same answer as this one. Let's do another one that doesn't do that at all. 6.14 times 10 to the fourth minus, uh, let's say, 6.25 times 10 to the fourth. This would be much better. You can see that it will do the math a little bit different. 6.14 times 10 to the fourth, take away uh, 6.25 to the power of four equals, and then we get negative 1.10 times 10 to the third. As you can see, uh, it's this number is bigger than that one, so that's going to take the sign. And then you can see that the exponent now is a three. Okay, what about square roots? The square root of 1.6 times 10 to the fourth. Sure. 
Uh, we do the square root and then 1.6 and then times uh, to the power of 4 we equals and we get uh, 1.264 times 10 to the second power right um, if we have something in the square root like 2.3 times 10 to the fourth divided by 2.3 times 10 to the um, let's say 6 right we can do that square root I would put parentheses just in case to tell the calculator hey this is one calculations 2.3 to the power of 4 right divided by 2.3 um, to the power of 6 right to the power of 6 close parentheses equals and you can see here it's going to be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 1 okay um, and then powers 1.73 times 10 to the minus 4 to the let's say third power right well uh, what we can do is I think what we can do most likely is 1.73 times 10 to the minus 4 and then x to the third right because we're going to the third power equals 5.17 times 10 to the minus 12 right and again significant digits that's going to be up to your teacher you can see that uh, negative 4 times 3 gives you negative 12 and you can do different um, different powers like 5.49 times 10 to the let's say 4 times or to the power of 5 uh, I think it's safe to put parentheses most likely 5 point it probably does it for you without parentheses but you can try it 5.49 times 10 to the fourth, close parentheses, then x to the y, which is a caret key, the caret, um, to the fifth power, and that gives you 4.987 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, 4 times 5 is 20, but then when you do the exponent, 5.49 to the power of 5 here, it will move the decimal over to give you 23. If you want more uh, instructions on how to do this by hand, step by step, I have a great video that you can watch um, to show you how to move those decimals. Okay, so hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use this calculator for the scientific notation.